Welcome to Campus Bus. My name is Darren Smith. On Campus Bus this week is our very special guest, Dunamis Reigns. Welcome to Campus Bus. Bless you, sir. How Thank you, doing? you for having me. I'm good. I'm good. I'm here giving thanks. All right, that's nice. So your name is Greg Grant, your government name. Right. <laughs> How did you get Dunamis Reigns from Greg Grant? Uh, well, um, being that I'm very small in stature, I was smaller than this then. So um, I have this big voice. So we went to the studio, they were asking, um, you know, what voice, what, what, what can match his voice? Mm -hmm. Basically, we went um, searching in terms of with some names. I couldn't come up with a name, you know, at that point in time. So it's like basically, I said, all right, let us go on fasting and stuff. So right. we went into fasting. Um, the producer presented a couple of names to me. And I didn't know what dunamis mean. I didn't know anything about mm -hmm. it. But when I saw it, something about it, and it stood out to me. So therefore, I just said, all right, let pray about this one. And God gave me the okay and swore it dunamis rent. Okay. So yes. for persons who are watching uh, and don't know the meaning of dunamis, enlighten them. Well, it means power. Right. Um, dunamis is actually um, the power that came upon the disciples on the day of Pentecost when, the, when Christ said, go to the upper room and power shall come upon you. Right. Well, that was that power. So that po the dunamis power in itself is a life transforming, a life changing power, right. a power that causes things to happen. And a matter of fact, it's the word that um, dynamite comes from. Right. So, yeah. Okay, that's good. Yes. Uh, you are known uh, mostly for your songs that you know, Praise the Rock right. and Come Against. Right. That one is on, you know, every yeah, rotation, yeah. you know, radio station here in Jamaica <laughs> yes. and overseas as well. I want to know, you have a song called Gangster Life. Right. You were a part of Gang. Yeah, as a young youth, you know, misguided as a youth, um, mm -hmm. thought that the only way I could actually feel love was, was to find myself a part of something, you know. I'm not saying that my parents didn't love me, my mother loved me. You know, me had a wash belly, so yeah, she loved me. But um, I was expecting more, and being in the position that I was in, being that um, I used to see my mother get abused from time to time, so I felt as if she had, in some way, shape or form, um, disappointed me. Mm -hmm. So I, I never really wanted their own arm much, so I found myself on the corner with the man them I hung out, and you felt a sense of love and acceptance there, and one thing lead to another you know gun robbery you name it but today your life is transformed because you're a christian basically yes. started out uh, in about 2009 up until 2015 yes uh, how did that change you know come about we're going to get into your music and all of that but i want to know how did it change you know i'm um, well the principal was there from before you know um mommy used to send me go Sunday school, even though she didn't go to church at the time, but I have insurance so I go out and go to church. Um, so a foundation was set from then. But, um, you know, I remember I remember at one point in time, I was, while in the gang, um, you know, a couple of the guys, they never really trust me, which being who I was, I wouldn't trust me either. Yeah. So um, they, they, they decided that um, they're going to kill me. Mm -hmm. For a gun that I had because I, I nobody really killing, there. Serious killing and serious yeah, man, gun and like, a like, gun. like <laughs> not no 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 Talk not a tie gun, real gun. Um I, I got from you know we we'll make a move and okay. henceforth I acquired that. Um but I didn't, I never really trust anybody, you know, and because of that I didn't know who I could actually show. And I showed one of them at one point in time and you know, some, some other little stuff go down, which I can't really go into yeah, right now. But um, okay. what happened was that um, they decided that, yo, they're going to kill me. Because, you know, me a Judas mm -hmm. in their mind. So, you know, the street is kill or be killed. Mm -hmm. And so I decided, say, yo, if me a go down, me a carry a couple of them with me. Mm -hmm. So, me start saggle up. And I remember I went to, you know, one of them for, for get rid of him. And when I step out and went there, I remember... I saw him at a distance and he was standing and him just turned and started running and I couldn't understand why mm -hmm. because I'm sure him never see me. I, I never move and I wait for him for coming in range mm -hmm. and um, I didn't understand. So I went to him and you know, I took out my little Bible, I have my New Testament Bible mm -hmm. as bad as thing maybe. Blue one, eh? Yeah, one in my okay. back pocket. Good old, good and old. <laughs> <laughs> and I took out that and 
you know, me, me, me tear one of the blank leaf out of it and I build a spiff. Mm-hmm. Um, I take the gun out of my waist and put it in my lap and I sit down and I, you know, basically just I say, yo, oh God, I don't understand what is. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, so the money I try to kill me. This so a, This is real life story you're talking about. Yes, sir. Continue. You know, so you know, the money I try to kill me, say, Zida, um, me kill them or them kill me. Mm-hmm. And me no one dead, so I don't understand. You know, say, I don't really do nothing in this case because it throughout that, I see myself as being innocent. Mm-hmm. And, um, why I got allowed this and I remember right then and there God started to minister to my heart. Mm-hmm. So I never go in front of the pastor go say, hey pastor. Right. I went after. Mm-hmm. But I got saved right there. Right. My heart changed right there on that step to the point to where I, I, I get rid of the spliff and it's like I get rid of the gun. Well, mm-hmm. not immediately but shortly after. Mm-hmm. So yeah. And so how did you, you know, get into the music? aspect of, of, of that wow um i this is a surprise to me you know i bless god every day for my two friends um robert um lemard and marlon ponal um they were the ones who actually i saw them as men of god first and foremost i didn't believe that dj can save nobody right i never believe that like Virgin, you just make up a bag of knives, you know. Mm-hmm. And I remember because I look up to these young men. Um, Robert was a singer, and Marlon is actually a DJ. So them said them have them write a new song. The more I hear, so I'm like, right, sure, mm-hmm. go ahead. Robert start sing, and then when Marlon start DJ, it's like in myself, I wanted to leave, but because I know who they are as men of God right. and I really look up to them spiritually at the time I was a young Christian maybe about 2005 right. and I got saved in 04 so about a year into it and um, when when I hear them and him, him just a spit word and it was the word of God right. and the scripture said that my word cannot return to me void henceforth um, I decided that yo snap I remember listen and when I listen it makes sense and people start cheering me on, yo, so give me a peace, give me a peace, give me a peace. And, yeah. and it just happened. And I find that words just start come out and, and it end up that's Yeah, I put a verse on the song mm-hmm. and that was where it started. I prayed about it after that and God gave me the go, the go ahead maybe about a couple of months or so after. And I've been doing it ever since. Duna Miss Reigns, right here on Campus Bus, who has, his life has been transformed through the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. We'll take a break, and when we come back, you will hear more from Dunamis. Welcome back to Campus Bus. Still Darren Smith here, and uh, Dunamis Reigns is still with me. Dunamis. Yes, sir. All right, tell me now how the songs you know came about. You know, one of your uh, top songs on rotation, Come Against. Um, well, that song was written out of a a, a, a situation where um, a couple of guys came to kill me down by Westmoreland, mm-hmm. and um, you know, being a young Christian at the time. Um, basically, I was thinking about going back to my old self, which is going back to the gun. I um, I say, yo, you know, daddy, it look like say really, I go defend me thing. So, um, and I remember when I when I came back to um, Kingston and I planned for go back down and stuff. I remember the Lord said to me that um, you wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and power, and that this is not how you fight the battle. You know, it's not physical anymore. It's now spiritual, and henceforth that song come out of that situation where if you if you if you listen carefully, you will hear me, me I say a couple of things, and that is just basically me saying, look, all right, this is the way you want me to go, but I refuse to follow that way. I'm going to attack this from a different standpoint, which is in the spiritual, because absolutely nothing can happen in the physical before it manifests itself in the spiritual. So if I was on guard, 
then I would have been able to see what, what, what the enemy was planning and then, you know what I mean? So this is me practically saying, all right, this is a way for you to fight against the elements that come at you on your day-to-day -day life by just reciting what I say and just believe it, faith. Wow. Yeah. Marvelous. For persons who don't know this song, give us a piece. Tell them we come against principalities of evil. We come against Lucifer who plague the minds of people. Come against witchcraft, come against us. When me strap up me armor in a god, me I tell them we... Yeah. Ah, 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 easy now. <laughs> so that will be great. Come against a uh, campus bus, don't have Mr. Rains here. Uh, I want to ask you a random question. Normally, you know, you pick a random question, but I'm just going okay. to ask you. Are you dating? Um, right now, no. No, not at, not at this point in time. Not dating? No. So if you're talking to somebody and she watch this and you say you're not dating, you're going to be in trouble? Well, I can't be in trouble either because I'm not I'm dating not right now. All right. Yeah. All right. Tell us how hard it is to get your music out there or how easy. Tell us about your experience, you know going into the music industry um maybe when i just started it was was a bit harder for me because you don't know anybody and nobody knows you but um as it relates to building up credibility where people see you as somebody who is rooted and grounded in the word and not just somebody who going on the stage and singing then you find that people are a lot more open now to play your music because they know who you are yes. so right now i wouldn't say that it is it is very hard for me um because people actually asking me for music now mm -hmm. but um before before um people know my stance and know where i was as a man of god then it was a bit difficult because nobody wants to run the risk and then you hear you know what i mean anything down the line so no it's very easy okay i would say that all right we're going for a break still chatting with dunamis we'll be right back <laughs> Welcome back to Campus Bus. Do not miss. Yes, sir. Still there with me. <laughs> All right. Uh, for the type of music that you do, you know, gospel we are accustomed to. Is it dancehall gospel, reggae gospel, hip hop gospel? What is um, it? Well, the main thing is dancehall gospel. But I, I wouldn't really consider myself to be just a dancehall gospel artist. I do everything. Because as you know, praise rock is more kind of hip hop. You know, um, like a gangster life is more like a kind of hardcore dancehall. Plus, you have a song named Broken, which is kind of more contemporary, mm -hmm. kind of liquor stuff, R&B kind of flavor. So I don't really, I wouldn't really say that I am really boxed into dancehall gospel. Mm -hmm. I do pretty much anything the spirit leads me to do. Okay. So if if me forgot to do a reggae tomorrow, then that's it. Mm -hmm. Me go do a reggae, and if me forgot to do poetry. Then I got the poetry. Man, you want to so. sip over <laughs> buns, you know. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I want to know for persons who are skeptical of dance or gospel, how can you can you mix dance or with gospel? How persons who are skeptical, is it even effective? Yes, it is effective. Yo, first of all, it might change my life now. Yeah, okay. Because um my view on on, on um dance or gospel is completely different. Once a word is in it, then the truth is the word must accomplish that which it set out to accomplish. So it doesn't matter how it is being presented. Once the word of God is there, mm -hmm. right, then it must it must do it work. Because okay. I can't change anybody. Right. So even if I try to sing like um, Kirk or anybody else, well, not Kirk, but the people around Kirk or anybody else, mm -hmm. the truth is that I can't really change anybody. It's the spirit of God that actually changes people. Mm -hmm. So if... I'm speaking the word of God, then it must accomplish that which it set out to accomplish. So okay. I just present the word, make the rest. It do the rest. That's that's Duna Mystery. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to teach me to do something new right here on campus. Plus. All right. Well, for me, I'm a foodie. All right. Okay. So I love food. So. Me too, but yeah. I just don't like cooking. <laughs> well, it's easy. Here we're going. All right. I'm going to teach you how to roast some fish, right? Roast fish. Yeah. Okay. All right. Get the fish. 
scale it properly. Make sure you clean it up properly too. Oh, that is, it. you know, you get your knife and you scrape it off, okay. or or for you can get a um a fork, mm-hmm. cause that can use to okay. scrape it off faster. And then you make sure you slice both sides, mm-hmm. right? You you cook. You can cook kalalu, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. You make sure you say you cook it down. You don't cook it fully, but you cook it halfway there. Still have like a crunch in it, and you put it inside of the belly with some butter. You make sure you say you get your file paper, tear it long enough so you can wrap the fish properly. That's all the liquid inside don't escape. Okay. And you don't want the fish dry. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. And you stuff the belly, you make sure both sides, you season it properly. You get both sides, you put your butter on the sides. And if you want to put a crackers, put a couple crackers from the side, too, that is fine. It okay. can work. You wrap it up, put it, that's it. You're Roast gone. Fish. Yeah. Roast All fish. right, so I'm going to try it. And then I'll show you the results. Hope it tastes <laughs> good. If it not tastes good, do not No, it's it. n- no, it's not me. <laughs> it's not me. It's him. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, what persons who are supporting your music, uh, the projects that you're working on? Um, well, I'm working on the EP on the album right now. So the EP coming up very soon, hopefully, as the leading of God. Okay. And um, the, it's entitled Broken, you know, because we understand that there's a lot of people inside of Christendom that is struggling. Right. And um, we, we, we seem to ignore that side of Christianity that, once you come to Christ, he said, take up your cross, and the cross represents suffering. Mm-hmm. You understand? And we don't teach that. So I think God is trying to bring out that in the music. So a lot of the music, um, the songs that I've been doing, geared a bit around that, you know, in terms of reaching people in, in their situations and, and showing them how to overcome. So you can look out for that. Okay. And um, working on a couple of videos to come out to. So awesome. That's awesome. At some of the stage that you have uh, worked on quickly, um, I've, 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 wow, I've been to like Exodus, I've been to Recharge, I've been to um, Denby, I've been to Gospel Fest in Barbados, I've, uh, all over, I'm, <laughs> all over, I'm, I'm not really sure. Alright, and um, persons who want to reach Dunamis, uh, really. Well, you can find me on any of the social um, networks, you can find me, just look for Dunamis Reigns, which is my name, so if it's Facebook, you look up Dunamis Reigns. Instagram, Twitter, um, Reverb Nation, any one of them. Do them in strings, that's it. Okay, and persons you want to shout out who, you know, have been constantly supporting your music, playing your music. Well, I must say thank you very much to Omar. I must say big up to Nadine, Basilia, um, Nigel, um, Kevin, Lewis. There's just so much all over, people all over. That is just Jamaica, so I'm thinking about, like, uh, DJ Rebirth, who is also here. But I can't remember someone who overseas, but big of yourself, Ricardo, Brian, big of yourself, you know, all of these DJ there, big of yourself, love you much. Thank you very much for the support, and you will be getting a couple of new stuff soon, so, yeah. All right, there you have it, Dunamis Reigns. And I want you to talk to persons who are in gangs, who want to get out, who are struggling and, um, you know, can't find their way out. Well, well, um, there's always a way out. I can tell you that point blank that um, I've been there, been to the point of feeling completely hopeless and feeling as if, yo, there's no point to your life. This is the only thing that I know and, and, and the only thing that we I can survive. And I'm going to tell you that there's more to you. Than, than you can even imagine or even dream. I didn't know a thing about myself until I, I reconnected with Christ. And I'm saying this to you right now, that even though things may seem so hard and it might see, you seem hard-pressed because you have the youth, them for go school, the food for, for buy, you have the rent, you have all of these things to take care of and you don't know how you're going to do it. But I can tell you this, I've trusted God since 2004 and he hasn't disappointed me as yet. He has always been there for me. And the same you two, them tell me, say me I got dead at the age of 20. I'm now 32 going on 33. And I can tell you this. I've been to all the places. You name it, I've been there. Well, not everywhere, but most of the places that you can think about, I've been there. God has taken me there. And I didn't know I would have done this. But I'm saying to you that just like how God has done this for me, he can do the same thing for you. And he loves you. In spite of what you might feel or what you might think, God loves you. There you have it on Campus Bus. Do not miss rains. I just want to thank our sponsors, Go Places Clothing, uh-huh, uh-huh, and JN Way. Do not miss, take us out. Ah, uh, listen. 
This a the battle where the Bible did that talk about Principalities and power stations with his sought out Right now me ready for the war a time to launch out Soldiers so smart out Listen, team and get pun up, high till sun up, back it if strong me mouth, me now run up, me and Michael apart from else, some should come up, so in me and chat them till hands numb up, hear them about the way the war turn up, mercy please, mercy what me say you fun up, never know them lose before them nail your son up, what them a go, Lucifer, me say this are the, this are the battle where the Bible did that talk about principalities and powers, listen. Scriptures from moat like mini 14 Bore up demons like needle with sore jeans Ever semi cold, you never see ice cream Cause when me call, I was an angel rolling No chat, no chat, when you look a fire pouring Burn out infirmities like water with chlorine Tell me what them a go do, Jesus rolling Tell me what them a go do, what them a go do, what them a go do Keep it locked, boom To God be the glory, bless